authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. It looks a little rainy, a little foggy out there, but generally it's just a little bit damp. We've got some very thick cloud cover overhead, and really that is translating to some reduced visibility even late this evening. Citibank Sky Tracker in Midland giving us a good look at those gray conditions, and big spring not looking much better. We still have more visibility, but as far as the sky goes, it is very, very gray outside and just as damp. Citibank Sky Tracker sitting on top of the historic hotel settles in Big Spring right now giving us a good look at those conditions and it is just as cold as it looks outside. Temperatures really not telling the whole story. 52 degrees was our technical high temperature. That came in right around midnight for Odessa Midland, and then we've been dropping off ever since. Our lows so far have made it to 37 degrees compared to that normal of 30, but we've got a little ways to go before we reach midnight again, and our temperatures are likely to take a small dip. So we are coming in pretty cold outside right now. If you've been out there, I don't need to tell you, bundle up before you head out the door one more time. We've got a lot of moisture out there. We've got a lot of cloud cover, but not a whole lot of rain for us here in West Texas. Most of that is sprouting up to the east, tracking through Texas and some wintry mix actually in the panhandle of Texas, but no ice, no concerns of ours here in West Texas anymore. You can see a little bit of pink indicating that wintry mix in the northeastern basin for a short time on the satellite loop starting around 3 p.m., but here in Odessa Midland, we are looking pretty cloudy and a little foggy as well as we saw on the Citibank Sky Tracker. South of I-10, we don't have too much rain either, but we can see a little bit of that starting to move in from the west. Generally looking okay, but here comes a little bit more rain. So we do have more rain chances coming our way for the rest of the evening, but right now as it sits, visibility is a concern and those temperatures are going to be pretty cold. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, we'll be dipping down to about 37 degrees, not too far off of where we are right now. In fact, an unofficial recording of temperature here at the station indicates 37 degrees currently. So we're going to stay pretty consistent through the overnight hours. Unfortunately, that consistency is going to land us in the 30s. And we've also got good rain chances coming through for tomorrow morning as well. Right now, most of that's setting up in central Texas. But once we get to tomorrow morning, notice we've got a little wave of energy beginning to brew up down to the south and west. Could be looking at a little rain for the eastern basin as well by the time we get to 11 p.m. But as the early morning hours roll through, that's when we can start to see that wave of energy taking the form of rainfall. Now, I'm not too worried about any strong thunderstorms, but that rain is going to get to be pretty heavy for a short amount of time as it sweeps off to the east. That's going to be bringing a lot of rain to us here in West Texas, and we've already seen a fair amount of rain, so flooding is likely to be a concern for tomorrow morning. Once we get to around 9 a.m., most of that rainfall will be moving off to the east, getting out of our viewing area, and it's also going to be taking a lot of that cloud cover with it. So by 5 p.m., we should be clearing out here pretty nicely, but we do have to get through that rain in the morning time first. That could lead us to see some flooding concerns for tomorrow morning, but thankfully, once we get to the afternoon time, things turn around. 58 degrees will be our temperature by 4 p.m. after all that rain and after that low at 37 degrees for tomorrow. Now, that is above freezing, so again, ice is not a concern. It's just the flooding that we have to look out for. By the time we do get to tomorrow, around 12 noon, after all the said and done, Odessa Midland picking up another about tenth of an inch. Big Spring near a quarter, while Fort Stockton picks up about a third of an inch. So again, could lead us to some flooding concerns. Be careful driving around for the rest of the evening and into tomorrow morning. Try to avoid those roads that you know flood, and if you can't, please drive slowly through those puddles. Now, if you have to go through any flooded roadways, again, try not to splash any drivers because that can cause more visibility concerns, possibly leading to a wreck. Also, you don't want to drive fast through puddles either because you don't know what's at the bottom of them. Now, by the time we get to tomorrow, roads are going to be slippery, possibly flooded, but we do clear out in the afternoon, leading us to a 58-degree high temperature Saturday at 51 and Sunday at 43. So, looks like winter is here to stay, even next week, not really warming up too, too much. So, make sure you got a coat handy for the next couple of days. It's going to be a wet one. Yep. Hey, and Chase, I want to take this chance to, of course, uh, welcome back Katie Orth uh, to the program. Uh, <laughs> Katie, it's good to have you. <laughs> Thanks, Chase. I didn't forget your name. No. I, I had been off for a couple of weeks. I had to take care of some medical procedures uh, at the beginning of the, of the year, so we got that done. But I want to thank everyone for all their concern, all their well wishes uh, during that time. I'm going to be fine. I'm back and glad to be back with you guys. And I got to say, I'm glad to, to have back. you back and I'm glad you're, you're talking strong and you're walking yeah. tall. Walking tall. I don't know about tall. <laughs> I'm walking. So glad you're back, Eddie. All right, Chase, thank you. Thanks.